Hey guys! So I'm not sure if this counts as a tutorial or not, but I get a lot of questions about how I make speed paints or how I just record myself in general. So I'm going to be talking about that. I'm just going to be talking about the programs I use and all that good stuff. So I'm recording full screen right now, so you should be able to see this icon right here. If I hover over it, it says quick time player. That is what I use to record my screen. And you can record either the whole screen like I am right now, even though for some reason it doesn't record the very top bar up here, which is kind of inconvenient, especially when I'm talking about this stuff. But yes, that's the full screen and you can also record certain parts of the screen. So if you've noticed when I do speed paints, I tend to only record my drawing area just because if I ever do plan on monetizing my videos, I can't really have any programs showing. So that's why you only see the picture, the drawing part. So to anyone who wants me to record the whole screen, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do that. So that's what I use for recording and I only use it just because it came with my computer. QuickTime Player comes with Mac computers, I guess. I'm not really sure. But yes, so that's what I use. There's a lot of really good free recording programs out there. I cannot remember for the life of me what I used to use before I got my Mac computer because I know I had to download something for it but I'm sure if you look it up or maybe I can have like a like an annotation or maybe something in the description for free recording programs but a lot of you guys make those things so yes I'll ask my friend who does speed paints what she uses for actually working on my videos and editing I have this which also came with my computer and that is iMovie so I'm gonna open that it's gonna take a while by the way because I probably should have opened it beforehand but I didn't the video editing program I use is iMovie just because it came with my computer when I was recording with my Windows what is it I don't even remember what kind of computer I had but I had Windows I would edit using Windows Movie Maker. But this is a program I use for making my speed paints. This is, as you can see, a speed paint I'm working on. Uh, the time is up here and everything. You can see this little bunny icon right there. That means it's sped up, so it's about seven minutes in total. But this is what I use for making my speed paints and any other video, honestly. I have a folder in my pictures uh, folder. I guess my pictures tab but it's called whips because it stands for a work in progress and this is where I save all of my screen recordings just because it's the easiest place so as you can see here are all the recordings of my link speed paint which you can see right here let me go here so yes so I save it in here and then I import the videos using this button right here and then I import it into an event and then I put the event right here to the project uh, timeline thing Sorry if that's hurting your eyes. And then there we go. And then I kind of just talk over. I can record myself using this button right here. So I'm just talking while I'm actually watching my own speed paint. I'm not going to get too deep into how I actually edit my speed paints just because there's not really a lot of editing. It's just speeding it up really. Yeah, that's really all I do. And then I talk over it. And for my tutorials, it's the same thing, except my tutorials, I actually do talk while I'm recording it. So I don't talk over it. Like I don't record myself talking using iMovie. I actually talk while drawing. And then when everything is all done, I just click this button up here and it saves it as a file and that's how I upload it to YouTube. I'm trying to think of any questions that anybody might have to ask. I guess I'll say a while ago, I didn't do videos very often because when I would record, it would make my pen really laggy. So let me show you like right now, <laughs> this is a really bad face. But right now when I draw, it doesn't matter. Like it's not lagging at all it's just fine this is exactly how it should be so that might be a problem for you and your computer maybe it'll lag maybe the line art won't be so smooth if that does happen it doesn't mean that you can't record it might just mean that maybe you don't want to record your line art process you know you can just skip to the coloring process which is fine because most people really like the coloring you know or sketching you can probably do the sketching and then skip the line art and then go straight to coloring so that's another thing my computer still kind of overheats if i record for long enough so when i'm doing speed paints that's a huge thing so i tend to record my speed paints at nighttime when it's way cooler so my computer doesn't overheat as much and I'm right under a fan so my computer is like nice and like comfortable. Also another thing is iMovie. I noticed it didn't do this before but for some reason it's doing it now where when I record my voice using iMovie if I record for long enough my computer starts breathing really loud and you can hear it in some of my speed paints. So I tend to record for a couple minutes and then I stop 
for you know a couple of minutes give my computer a break to cool off and then I start again and then I stop and it's like that and it's kind of annoying but do I have any tips and advice for making speed paints and tutorials hmm well for speed paints most speed paints I've noticed are not voice over they're usually with music and I would like to do that but the thing is YouTube's music rules are very very weird and you can get in a lot of trouble for using music even though you thought it was okay. So that's why I tend to use voiceovers only because nobody can really copyright my voice as of, you know, you know, right now. So that's why I'm playing on the safe side. And for tutorials or any other kind of voiceover videos, my advice would be to stay calm. Don't get nervous because I was very nervous when I was first making videos. You can see my very first tutorial I made about making outlines around your art. I sounded very boring and deadpan, which I still do sometimes, but it's gotten a lot better because I've gotten more comfortable. But just everything takes time and practice. It's just like drawing, you know, you get better and better. So even if your old videos are really bad and cringy and you don't want to watch them, you know, there's no other way to get better at making videos than to keep making them. So that's just my other advice, I guess. All right, sorry if this didn't count as a tutorial. I'll try to get another better one out as soon as I can because I don't know if this counts, but that's all I had to say. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you guys try to make speed paints and tutorials and whatever kind of videos because I love seeing artists out there. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching. Bye! Bum, 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 bum.